what's good guys it's Chidel and today we're gonna be rebuilding a team without any all-stars on it so basically the only rule for this rebuild is I'm not allowed to have an all-star to start the year so I'm doing the Brooklyn Nets you know I figured this would be a great team to start with obviously there's a good chance this first year D'Angelo Russell becomes an all-star if he does become an all-star I have to trade him before the end of next year so I went through the roster no one on the roster is an all-star now obviously game plan rotation year one Russell Levert Carroll Davis Jarrett Allen normally we would not start Ed Davis at power forward we would start someone like Alan Williams you know if things are going horribly wrong Jared Dudley but two center cheese we're gonna need it this video with no all-stars on the team so why don't we assume to the trade deadline see if anything interesting happens right off the bat we've been offered Steven Adams but I don't want to give up Jared Allen so I'm declining that All right, our first real trade. The Hawks, again, are just trying to, you know, help me help me a little bit with the rebuild, you know, help me along a little bit. They're just basically offering me John Collins out of nowhere. Now, Karis LeVert, obviously, you know, he showed a lot of potential before the injury. Even after the injury, he was looking kind of like a beast toward the end there, but he's 24, John Collins is 21, and he's already, what, six overalls better? John Collins was in the dunk contest, but he, he himself was not an all-star. So, John, and I know Justin Anderson's never been an all-star. So, John, welcome to the team. Now we have a real power forward to start for us, which, which is lit. All right, so we're at the trade deadline. Now, let's see if D'Angelo made the all-star game. He did not make the all-star game, so we're going to get to keep D'Angelo for another year. The only thing is he's a free agent, so I'm going to have to sign him to, like, a big contract. A little scary. So let's uh, let's change up the game plan now that we got Collins here. We got Russell, Dinwiddie. I like starting both of these guys. Carroll, Collins, and Jared Allen. This is a pretty solid first year squad. We got Joe Harris off the bench, Ed Davis, Napier, and Rondé. Okay, Rondé, we need you to get better a little faster. Kuroks also could get better. You know what, why don't we G League Kuroks for now? I want that guy to develop. If you guys don't know this dude's story, you guys got to look it up. The reason why he fell in the draft, it's actually kind of crazy. I'm not going to go into it because it's a long story, but look it up in your free time. It's actually really interesting. First year, I don't actually care that much about making the playoffs this first year. And we're down in the basement of the East with the, the lowly Magic Bulls and Heat. So, And you know, there's not a lot of West teams worse than us. So this could be a good year to uh, to little uh, do a little tank in action. You know what I'm saying? We do have our own pick this year. The thing is, I just don't see this team tanking. I'm not going to, like, line up cheese to tank. So, if we tank, we tank. If we don't, we don't. Damari Carroll will re-sign. This guy is not a threat to become an all-star. Not a threat. We'll give him a three-year deal. He'll never be an all-star. If I can get him at eight mil a year, I think that's a steal. And he accepted. Okay. Ed Davis will re-sign. Look, I view Ed Davis as someone who will never be on an all-star team. I view Ed Davis as someone who will be around for a long time. At 4.95 mil, 4.9 mil a season, we have a bench center for three years. Jared Dudley, he'll resign. <laughs> no. To the end of the season we go. We might actually make the playoffs. Lillard was the MVP. We went 41 and 41. I don't know if we made the playoffs. Trey Young, Rookie of the Year. All this other stuff, good and dandy. Did we have an All-NBA? Thankfully not. Okay, here we go. We are the seventh seed going against the Milwaukee Bucks. Guys, Brooklyn Nets fans, we had a great season. See y'all next year. I'm just gonna simulate the round because we're about to get pulverized. I love this game. What did I say earlier about getting pulverized? <laughs> Woo! Looks like we're here. Hey, once you make the second round, man, anything could happen. Going against the Philadelphia 76ers. Okay, this team. Benjamin Simmons. Jonathan Simmons. Okay, that's a, that's a potential weak point we could exploit. Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, and Joel the God. Embiid. Stop eating the PlayStation. Okay. So, personally, guys, just like last series, I don't see how we have a chance. I'm just going to simulate the current round. Like, I don't think we're going to win the title this year. I didn't expect to win the title this year. Somehow, we're coming back. Somehow, we're w leading the series. And we lost in Game 7. You know, get to Game 7 is impressive. 
All good signs for the future, I think. So, oh, it's Raptors Warriors. You know, we made fun of 2K all year, guys, for the Sim Engine. But look, it keeps getting the finals right, and the Raptors won. Let's see if they win later today, too. Who knows? For those of you watching this like a month from now, I'm recording this after game one, the day of game two. League meetings, let's get, let's get it. You know, now that we're doing these little fun challenges, we can do some more things. The top eight teams from each conference are seeded one to 16 for the playoffs. You know what? Let's approve it, why not? Teams are allowed to trade first round picks in consecutive years. I mean, I'm not dumb enough to do that, so why not? The Celtics have the third pick. This is bad for everybody. So my long-term plan with this no all-star thing is to get basically a bunch of 83s to 85s and then play everyone like 24 minutes a game so it'd be really hard for anyone to be an all-star. Staff signing, what do we think of Kenny Atkinson? B minus, C minus. Okay, well, you know, in real life, I thought he did a fine job, but apparently <laughs> the game doesn't like him, so he's fired. Popovich! Who better to, to coach a team of no all-stars than Pop? Now, obviously, Pop's had a lot of all-time great players on his teams over the years, but hey. I feel like you can do a lot with a little bit too. All right, NBA draft. I don't know what pick we have. We probably have like 16, 17, maybe even 18. Oh, we had 12. How did we have 12? Okay. I don't know anything about this dude, but let's take him. Number one dude from France. We like French guys. Actually, I don't think there's been a single NBA player from France that I've liked. I didn't like Tony Parker. He was mean against the Heat in the finals. I don't like Rudy Gobert. He just annoys me. Oh, we can still take Romeo Langford. Hello. <laughs> What pick was that, 17? Whose pick did I have? Hey, that's great GMing. <laughs> I don't know whose pick I even had to get that 12th pick, but I had it. So I got Doombia and I got Langford, two young dudes. Looks like Doombia was the best guy I could have taken other than Jackson Hayes, okay. Well, we didn't need Jackson Hayes, so who cares? Team player options, Collins accept, Allen accept, Napier accept, dude, why not? Obviously, number one priority here is to re-sign uh, D'Angelo. Jeez, this is a big contract. But the good news is, if he makes the all-star team, we're just gonna trade him. He accepts. Uh, Rondé, I know we love you, but we're gonna renounce your rights for now. And now we have 22 million in cap room after all that. So I'm gonna try to sign another non-all-star player. Julius Randle has never been an all-star. So I think I'm gonna try to get Randle. Um, I don't really want to sign him to a huge long-term deal. But maybe he'll take this one with its, the player option at the end of it. Okay, let's look for guys who don't want crazy contracts. Brooke Lopez. Hey, I'm sure he loved being a Brooklyn Net. Why not come back here? Wait, has Brooke Lopez been an all-star? He was an all-star once! Brooke, what the hell, man? Why were you an all-star? Why did you play well in 2013? For Michael Green, another guy I feel like I could bring on the bench for a minute. So why don't we give this guy a two-year deal, flatten it out. We're only looking to pay you 8.75. I feel like I have to be really cap responsible. Okay, he signed with somebody else. All right, well, Alan Williams, we'll bring him back. You know me, I love my flat deals. We'll pay him 9.8. All right, Alan's back, he's still 14 mil. No one has signed Kevin Durant yet. He has zero offers. Sadly for us, Kevin Durant's been a 10 time all-star. You know what, we'll just, we'll just keep the cap space for this year. Next year, we're gonna have 35 million in cap room and all we're losing is Joe Harris who we could probably re-sign for cheap, and Napier. So we're, doing, we're gonna have a lot of cap space next year. This year, you know what? Having the space will let us trade into more contracts. It's a good thing. So I got one training camp. Obviously, untapped potential is the wave here. I'm gonna send it to Dumbia. He's only 18 years old, already a 77 overall. This dude's got a lot of potential, clearly. Okay, never, maybe not, but he'll be something someday. Year two, we got Russell, Harris, Dumbia, Collins, Jared out, the bench, Dinwiddie, Allen Williams, Langford, Napier, Davis. Um, we have a lot of youth. We have a lot of youth on this team. You know what, actually we're gonna make a change. I liked having Dinwiddie and Russell to start the game. What do people think about us? What do people think about the Brooklyn Nets? We are ninth in power rankings to start the year, okay. All right, to the trade deadline we go. See y'all there. Some interesting free agents coming up. A lot of these guys look like restricted. Did Pascal make the all-star team? He did not. That's a target right there. Okay, but look, what about our own guys? Did D'Angelo did make it? We're gonna have to trade D'Angelo at the end of the season. Sucks that we're gonna have to trade him. I guess let's see. Let's see what, if we can trade him now, get any sort of value before the summer. So I can trade him for Murray and Harris. That's kind of an interesting one. Harris is on a fat contract. 
Russell will be getting paid 24 mil a year. Harris, uh, then Murray's gonna need an extension. This is a tough trade because it is gonna mess up our whole cap situation. So I'm almost inclined to wait on Russell, to be honest. So I could just trade him, you know, beginning of free agency. Maybe a little risky, things don't open up at the same time, but that's what we're gonna do. We're 33 and 21. We're actually the two seed in the conference. So obviously Toronto's 47 and nine. I don't think we're gonna catch them, but maybe someone else beats them and we find ourselves in the NBA Finals. Maybe it's a quick, quick two year W window. So I'm gonna risk it. I feel like I've been taking a lot of risks like this in a lot of the recent rebuilds where I just don't think about the future very much and I'm very like short-sighted, but I just don't see how Murray and Harris trade will help me that much right now. Harden was MVP, we were 51-31, I don't care about the awards. Okay, reseeding the conferences 1-16 to was a terrible idea, because now we're the 5 seed. If we didn't do that, we would have been the 2 seed. Go game by game, we won game 1, and game 2, come on give us game 3, I want a clean sweep. Everyone always seems to come back from 0-2 in this game, I don't know why. Okay, not not them though. Not them. Not against us. Hell nah. We in the second round now. Going against the Clippers. Shea, Jimmy, Durant. Oh my god. Well, look, this team looks scary, guys, but in reality, they are only the four seeds, so. They're not that great. They beat us game one. They beat us game two. Game three in Brooklyn, we take the dub. Can we take game four? Even up the series. All right, going into LA. Into a you know a relatively friendly Clipper Stadium. We lost by eight. All right, going back to Brooklyn. Game seven time, baby. Oh my God, we're actually winning. Oh God, they came back. Oh God, we're winning. Oh, we're gonna win. No, it's close. Oh, it came. It's really close. It's really close. We won game seven in LA. Going against. James Harden and the Houston Rockets. You guys know I always lose to Harden and the Rockets. Who's on this Houston team? They went 16-22. Christopher Paul. Jameis Harden. Josh Hoistis, Houston. PJ Tucker. Okay, so they're they're actually the front court's kind of. You know, we're probably just gonna lose. Harden's gonna kill us. Oh, we won game one. No way. Let us. Oh, we're up two nothing. And those games were in Houston. Are we about to clean sweep? We're in the NBA Finals, dear God, against the Raptors. Guys, the Raptors, though, they went 16-22, the same record that those same Houston Rockets did. We might win our second season. Do you know how, imp you know how impressive that would be with no All-Stars? Wow, James, that'd be really cool. I think we should simcast every game. All right, what is the scout advice? Less minutes to Doombia. Hey, we got here playing Doombia a lot of minutes. All right, they won game one. They won by a lot. They won by 17. Game two. We might not make it back to the finals. Oh, we won game two in Toronto. Here we go. Here we go. Game three. Game three in Brooklyn. Here we go. They're off to a big lead to start off. They're off to a huge lead. Oh my God, look at that fourth quarter. We almost, we made a furious comeback attempt, but we got destroyed in the first quarters too much. All right, game four. We have to tie this up. We, we literally have to. We don't, okay, we're getting killed again in the first half. Okay, clearly they're the better team. Ah. Uh, I think we got really lucky sweeping the Rockets. That was super unexpected. Are we gonna make this a series though? We're making this a series. Here we go, game six. If we can take it to seven, man, I might step in, you know? I might step in a little bit. All right, we're off to a lead, okay. They're coming back, it's a close game. And it's a close game. Come on, we need a run. We need a run. This is for the finals, man. Nah, I think we lost. We lost, all right. Oh my God, we lost by two points. All right, so the Raptors are back-to-back -back champs. We're going into the offseason without D'Angelo Russell, who was probably the main reason we got as far as we did. So, that sucks. So accepting Collins, accepting Jarrett, accepting Goga, and accepting Disnanan. Disnan. I don't know how to say his name. We're gonna, tr we gotta trade D'Angelo now. I mean, here it is. Here it is, Aiden. Aiden did not make an all-star team. Boom. 
There's the trade. They won't give us Booker. Or do we want John ja Morant? Also never made an all-star team. Tim Hardaway's salary is kind of an eh. Oh, and we also De'Aaron Fox never made an all-star. Okay. Do we want Fox? Do we want Morant? Or do we want Aiton? Aiton's already the highest rated out of all of them. I think maybe we should go with Aiton, but then we won't have a point guard. Fox, I only got to take on Giles. This is also pretty good, honestly. God, this is such a tough choice. I don't know what to do. If I'm trying to win a title in the next one or two years, John Morant and Tim Hardaway don't really help me do that. Aiton is already an 88, and Oubre, you know, he's a bench guy. But then we don't really have a point guard. But that's what we have free agency for. Morant, honestly, if I'm going for like a 10 year window, I feel like Morant was the smart trade here. We have like a two, three year window. We're gonna trade for Aiton. That was a tough choice. Oh, I really, I really hope I didn't make the wrong decision. Right, I'm gonna trade Ed Davis for the Chicago Bulls first round pick to get myself a little salary relief, and he's not gonna play. Mari Carroll's another guy who doesn't play for us. I'm gonna try to trade him too. All right, I'm gonna turn Damari Carroll into two first round picks. I got 24 million salary cap. Let's get our point guard. Let's get the point guard we need. Maul Murray. Hey, not been an all-star. We're going for him. Now the Nuggets are gonna wanna keep him for sure, but we need a point guard, so we're offering him a lot of money. You know, DeJounte Murray, another guy will offer a big contract too. We need a point guard, guys. Do we want DeJounte Murray or do we want Jamal Murray? Jamal's the same age, two overalls better. Yeah, also he wants less money, that's an easy. The Nuggets did not match, so now we have Jamal Murray, so we got him anyway. Still have 12 million cap room. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown wants that much money, he's gotta be kidding himself. He's not getting that contract with anybody. So he won't negotiate with me. That's fine, Jalen. You overvalued yourself. Leak Beasley? I know you've never been an all-star. He signed. All right. Here we go. I don't know if we'll ever make it back to the finals. We traded We traded D'Angelo Russell, but we had to. That's the challenge. But we have Aiton. We got John, Jamal, Jarrett, Dinwiddie. I still think we have a great team. Look how many 80 plus overall guys we have. This was the whole goal. All right, only one training camp again. Again, I'm gonna go to Doombia. I don't know why Doombia didn't really get better. That was that was very disappointing. So our lineup, Murray, Beasley, Oubre, Collins, and Aiton. Off the bench, Dinwiddie, Allen, Williams, Lankford, and Doombia. I like our team. I think our team's actually really good. I don't know if they're a playoff, you know, finals team, but they are a regular season team. I got a lot of depth. We beat the Raptors. Okay, we couldn't do that last year, really. What are we? I think we're gonna be like a 50 win team, I'm guessing. Year 5131. Pretty much what I guess. Alright, we're the sixth seed this year, so we're a little bit worse than last year, apparently. Collins, no. So no one on our team made an all-star team. Great news for us. So we're going against the 11 seed Clippers in the first round again. I mean, this time they're not. Weren't they the higher seed than us last time? Or no, they were a low seed last time too, but whatever. Nonetheless, we are up 3-1. I think we were up 3-1 on them last year too. Here we are in the second round, and it looks like we're going against the Mavericks who beat the Toronto Raptors. So we're not gonna have to play the Raptors this year. We might win. The, <laughs> we might win it this year. We might. We have a chance. I mean, we're not. You know, we're the third highest seed remaining. It's not like we're trash. Oh, they're 41 and 41. I think we got this. We beat them last year. We beat them last season, and we're gonna beat them again this season. Hello. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. All right, here we go. Here we go, everybody. Milwaukee Bucks, seven seed, 46 wins. That's cute. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to us. Game three. They can't handle our depth. They can't handle our depth. So we're gonna. S oh, we don't. We don't sweep. I thought we were gonna sweep the conference finals again. Here we are in the NBA playoffs again. This time against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Okay, who's on the Thunder? Russell, Westbrook, Terrence Ross, Paul George, Jeremy Grant, Steven Adams. So basically their normal team plus Terrence Ross. This is a good team. Let's not let's not get tripped up here. This is a good team. They got a decent bench too. But um, let's talk about our team. Jamal Murray. He seems like he's annoying to play again. Malik Beasley. Okay, I remember this guy doing a lot of cool things in the regular season this year. I don't remember seeing him that much against the Blazers in that series. Whatever. Oubre. Okay, you know what? Yes, yes. Their, their backcourt and their small forward is a lot better than ours. We're not saying Kelly Oubre stands a chance against Paul George. What we're saying is John Collins, DeAndre Ayton, Dinwiddie, Allen, Al Williams, 
Romeo, Sakubia, Romeo, ain't losing to their bench. Boom. They won game one. Okay, well, they're the higher seed. They should win game one. We won game two. Going back to Brooklyn, they won game three. Okay, game four in Brooklyn, we won. Simcast time for the rest of this series, ladies and gentlemen. And they're killing us here. Can we come back? Are we not going to come back? We didn't come back. Okay. Game six in Brooklyn. We have to win. Game six. Come on, please come back. All right, we came back. We fought hard in the second half. We won. Here we go, guys. Game seven in OKC. We have won road game sevens before. Now, the scouts have some advice. They want us to give less minutes to Doombia. You know what I say to the scouts? More minutes to Doombia! This dude's perimeter defense is a solid B. What about Ubre? It's a C. You know what? You know what? The scouts, I think the scouts are wrong. Guys, it's time Doombia gets some more minutes. Okay, we need the Paul George Garter. Now, we need our big dogs playing a lot this game. So, Langford, you're gonna, you're hot though. You're gonna cool off. Ubre. God, we have a lot of dudes. This team has a lot of guys. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. We're killing them. We're demolishing them in OKC. They said give less minutes to Doombia. And I said, uh-uh, no, no, no. We need someone to guard Paul George. Thank you. An absolute blowout. Absolute smacking. For the champs with no all-stars. I thought this challenge was going to be a little bit harder, but, you know, I've been doing these rebuilds all year. I know how to cheese the system. I know how to cheese it. I know good depth and a lot of centers equals championship. I don't know why. It's literally the opposite of real life. In real life, it's all about stars and perimeter players. 2K, it's all about the old school. It's about the C's, man. It's about the big C's and the PG's and the... The other C's and the PFs. Hope you guys enjoyed this no all-stars rebuild. We actually ended up winning with nobody even having an all-star that season. So I didn't think that was going to be possible. I thought the year we won it, somebody on our team would make the all-star game. But I guess, you know, we were just that balanced. We had such a good, well-rounded squad. If you guys enjoyed this video, click up here to see the previous rebuild. Click over here to subscribe. Click over here to subscribe to the Two Hype channel. The house tour is coming soon. I know we keep saying that, but it actually is coming this month. So be ready for that. And peace.